This is a tutorial on how to fix a corrupted SD card. SD cards can be corrupted in many uh, ways. Uh, one of the most common ways is if you remove your SD card from your camera when the power is still on, or if your battery dies while the camera is still writing to the card, uh, or even if you remove the card incorrectly from your computer without properly dismounting it, are all reasons why you could have corruption. And one of the easiest ways to try to fix the corruption is by using a program called CheckDisk. Now this is only available in Windows machines, uh, so we'll continue on with this tutorial on how to use CheckDisk. The first step is to bring up Windows Explorer, as you can see here. The thing we have to find out here is what the drive letter of the SD card is because check disk requires that information. As you can see here on the right side, there is a drive called Canon DC. That is the SD card and it is drive letter E colon. You have to be very sure that you're using the correct drive uh, number when you're using the check disk application. The first thing to do when using check disk is to open a command line. Then type in chkdsk space your drive letter space slash f. Now in this instance the drive letter is showing as e colon because that's what we found in the previous step. However the drive letter may be different on your machine so make sure that you match the drive letter here with the step uh, that we did previously. When you depress the enter key after entering the check disk command uh, the check disk will run through the SD card and find any corruption that may have occurred and will also fix that corruption. If it did not find any problems, then you're all set. There's nothing else to do. However, you may also want to consider formatting the SD card as sometimes that will bring the card back to life if you're still having some problems. In this step, we're going to do an in-depth or a deep format. When you do this type of format, you will lose data on your card and you will not be able to recover that data by using any of the file recovery programs such as Recover and others. So save your files if you have to or if you can to another uh, area before continuing. Then select the uh, SD card, right click on that card and select Format which will bring up this dialog box. Now the settings in this dialog box aren't all that important other than the file system should show FAT, which stands for a file allocation table. That is the format that the camera can understand because we'll be actually having to format it a second time in the camera after this step. Be sure to uncheck the box Quick Format. By doing so, it will do a long format and when you're done with that, you just simply click on the Start button and the format will begin. This format will take quite some time to do though, so it may take 10 to 20 minutes even in some cases. At this point, the format will begin and you'll get a little uh, progress box at the bottom showing where you're at. Uh, when you're done with this, you should then take the SD card, put it in your camera and format it again. This will ensure that everything is going to be working properly. To summarize, always remove your memory card correctly and you probably will never have a problem with corruption. But if you do, first run check disk, then format the long way if needed, and finally format it again in your camera. This should go a long way in keeping your cards running properly.